welcome back to Aussie Wristwatch. I'm Jessica Lyle and today we are going to take a look at the brand new Brightly Super Ocean Automatic. Now, before we get started, please, please hit the like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm gods. And also, if you like what you see and what you hear, please hit the magic red button and subscribe to my channel so we can go on this little journey that is my watch journey together where I talk about the history, I review, I look at technical stuff. I'm no expert. My aim is to have fun and learn something along the way. Okay, guys, let's get started. The Super Ocean was born out of a scuba diving phase in the mid-1960s, thanks to, you guessed it, Jacques Cousteau. Now, when it comes to diving, timing is actually critical. And, you know, I'm not a diver, but I, even I know this is very important. And the utmost of importance, Breitling set out to make a clear-cut dive watch by eliminating any feature that didn't need to be there that didn't serve the diver. Now, what they came up with was the slow-mo or the slow-motion super ocean. Now, technically, it's a chronograph, but it removed second hand and added a high contact dial ring and chunky luminescent battens. It replaced the chrono, the chrono hand with a large luminous sweep, sweep hand that took a whole hour to rotate around the dial. And it featured a small circular aperture at six o'clock, which changed color when the sleep, sweep hand was running. It was known as the slow moving chronograph. Now the chrono hand that moves 60 times slower than normal has returned with this Breitling Super Ocean. And this iteration has a mountain of options, which of course is synonymous with Breitling. Everything from different cases of steel to steel, gold and bronze to four sizes being 36, 42, 44 and 46 millimeter. It has two strap options being rubber and three row metal. And let's not forget it comes in various dial colors. It is awesome. But let's talk about specs. Okay, it's a unidirectional bezel on all models except the 46 millimeter where it's bi-directional and comes with a lock. The dot at six o'clock is now referenced on the seconds hand and it's 300 meter water resistant with a power reserve of 38 hours. The moving is the Breitling 700 and it's got a crystal sapphire glare proof case on both sides. Prices vary depending on size and materials. With a starting price around 6,500 Australian, it heads up towards $10,000 for a stainless steel and 18 karat gold in the 42 mil. Okay, do I like this watch? Yeah, I do. I really like this watch. I think it's, um, it's, really, it's really quite pretty. It's fun. It comes in a color basically for anyone and a size to fit any wrist from an itty bitty tiny wrist to a chunky wrist and everything in between. Uh, it suits people who love rubber strap or love a bracelet and it's got functionality in terms of being a dive watch, 300 meters water resistant. I love the slow moving chronograph. The 60 times slower um, component of this watch is a very cool complication. Um, it's pretty unique and it just, it just kind of, I don't know, there's something about Breitling where they're just fun. They know how to have fun with a watch. They know how to build a really great quality watch and they know how to cater to basically any market with their variety. Um, and they've really gone to town on these. They've basically rolled out their super fun surfing ambassadors, including, you know, the greatest surfer of all time. He's got to be a goat, Kelly Slater. And you know, they say that these, these watches can be wear, worn in the surf, diving, and of course at the bar, at the beach. And that, that's true of this watch. It's fun, you know, it works well. It, it would happily sit in my collection. If I could afford one, I would go out and buy one tomorrow. I've spoken to people who have already seen it and they've put it on their list and they're out tomorrow to get it. What's wrong with this watch? Um, 
Look, not a lot, to be honest with you. I'm not a fussy watch person, let's be honest. I do go very much on aesthetic and how it looks on my wrist. And for me, this watch just works. I guess the downside, like most Breitlings, is there's there's so much choice. Um, and that can, that can sometimes paralyze me. <laughs> um, but, you know, if that's the only thing wrong with this watch, well, shit, I think they're doing a good job. Uh, I think go and check them out. If you're a fan of dive watches, you know, this watch sits in a, in a, a sweet price point, I think, uh, for what it is. You get a lot of watch. I'm not saying six grand is cheap. So please, I mean, feel free to comment. Um, but I'm not deluded in thinking that that's a cheap watch for sure. Don't get me wrong, but it's under 10. Um, my Seamaster is well over 10. Uh, you know, that it sits at a good price point. It's a fun watch. Uh, I think it's going to sell well. I think it really is like their Navitimer that they bought out a couple months ago is going gangbusters. And in particular, people are loving the modern colors with that. I think people are going to gravitate to the modern colors of this watch and just generally have a bit of fun with it. Uh, let's see if I'm proven right or wrong with this one, but that is my very quick review of the super ocean i got to get my hands on it this week and have a good look at it in store um, if i can get one one day and have it in the studio to look closely at it that'd be awesome but in the meantime enjoy this review and thank you and remember again to like this video and hit the magic red button for me and subscribe let's keep watching and doing these videos together chuck a comment down below um, about your thoughts on this watch uh, i'd you know, I'm happy for people to have a differing opinion. Um, yeah, enjoy the review. Thanks, guys.